I'm doing this video to talk about the ear pro. Uh, I recently posted my lid in a group and some people had some questions because you don't typically see this style of mounting. You typically see the OpsCore AXL or the Unity mounts, both of which are okay options. Um, I've got experience with both. I don't own a pair of the Unities and I no longer own the OpsCore. This is my brother's lid um, for some direct comparisons. But um, when I owned the OpsCore, I wasn't a fan. I just, I didn't like some of the things that uh, were there and I'll kind of get into that here in a second. I saw another guy who had this setup posted, which is from Auto Engineering for the mount and the Gibius uh, Outdoors um, adapters for the contacts. Um, very simple setup, but I started asking questions and he put me in contact with the guy who's currently making them and I've got to say so far I'm really impressed. I've been running them now for about a month and a half or so and uh, for the good people who've seen my video on Facebook, they will tell you about how I had these stored basically out like this because I didn't want to run them flat. And I found out that I had nothing to worry about the entire time. The reason why I didn't want to run them flat brings me to one of the first reasons why I do not like these. There is so much pressure from the ops core mount that when you are using gel cups, which I prefer, uh, the gel cups are more comfortable, but you use so much pressure from the ops core mount that they end up ruining your gel cups. And I, I don't like that. It ends up making it, I mean, dude, there's so much space that could just make it easier to pop on your ear. And these end up kind of blowing that. So one thing I will say with these is that these store flat but they don't push down so hard. In fact, you can actually see that there's some spring to them, right? So when they're stored, they store somewhat flat and you can kind of mess with them to get them even kind of like flatter, but they don't ruin your gel cups. So that is the first point that I have to make concerning the Gibius Outfitter and auto engineering mounts. These are fantastic. The other thing I didn't like was the way that the boom mic is mounted. So you kind of just, th th this is like half cut. So you pop these on the Tigris and it works. It works okay, but you cannot rotate it at all. It is locked in the forward position. So if you're using your helmet and you're not using comms, what you end up seeing is you end up seeing this pulled way back or you end up seeing it like kind of ran down, but it's kind of stuck forward. I don't like that. That's minor, but I don't like it. Whereas with this, it actually has its own place on uh, the mounts to store your boom mic. And you can run it all the way. Of course, I caught it in the cord. You can run it all the way forward, or you can rotate it back when you're not using it. So point to Gibius for that. Um, <clears throat> now, talking about some other things. The second big thing from OpsCore that I really, really, really was not a fan of was I wasn't a fan of the way they actually mount to the helmet. So some of these things are to be expected. After all, we're using a proprietary mount for a proprietary helmet for proprietary ear pro that we are now taking from that helmet and that ear pro and adapting to a helmet that it's not meant for and ear pro it wasn't designed for. So there's a lot of adapters going on. The first thing you need is you need the adapter for the, 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 arms to the helmet and then the arms to the ear pro. Now the arms to the ear pro, um, they work, they work. Uh, there's nothing I can really complain about there. They were kind of well thought out minus this whole bit. But for the helmet, the one thing I found frustrating was on mine, you can actually see on my brothers, there's some slippage, but on mine, that slippage was major. And I don't know what caused that, but it wasn't, it wasn't great. Um, the one plus I will give them is that when you pull these out and you go to rotate them, they have very like, like, I don't know what the phrase is, but it's like uh, textile, very, very clear rotation, but a lot of pressure. So when you're running them and you decide you want to disengage your ear pro, they stick way outside the head. Now, the one thing I like about these is like unity okay 
like the Unity mounts from Unity Tactical. Um, when you decide you don't want to run these, okay, when you decide, hey, I'm going to pop these off to here without my Ear Pro, you squeeze these and you pull them back and they hover, just like the Unities. So that is a major plus in my book to the auto engineering and the Gibius Outfitters. Um, the one thing is, is when I bought these, these screws were kind of loose, so these slipped around a lot. Like I could literally shake the head and it would just rotate back and forth. But tighten the screw down, works just fine. It's not an issue. Um, the other thing that I noticed, and I don't know 100% if this was done correctly. I'm assuming it was done correctly because my brother is not known for... Yes, Pepper, we love you. Get down. Thank you, baby. Um, but the one thing I will say is... We noticed that these screws backed out a lot and we ended up having to, to tighten them down using, uh, I think we actually ended up using red Loctite because Vibratite and blue Loctite just wasn't cutting it. Um, something else is there's some springs that go in between the screw and the cup. And as you can see, they have popped out on both sides. And I think that's just from the way that these rotate every now and again you'll end up catching them slipping but that's a basic review uh personally i'm a big fan of the auto engineering and gibius wasn't a big fan of these but uh yeah if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments i'll try to get back to you i don't do a lot of youtube videos just because i'm really not that guy but uh Every now and again, I like to post things because sometimes people ask questions and I figure, fuck it, I could just link them to this. So anyway, um, yeah, that's my video.